Yo, welcome back, everybody. Today, we got the big announcement, the big one, the one I've honestly been waiting for for a very long time. Battlegrounds Season 8 is upon us. On August 20th, we'll get the launch of Battlegrounds Season 8. On August 19th, we'll have the playtest for it. And that will shake up the game incredibly heavily. Buddies will be removed. The old mechanics like uh, spells, for example, which are permanent addition, along with the minion redesign that we had as the last season mechanic, will stick with us going into the future. And we will have a new mechanic added on top of everything else. So without any further ado, what's the new mechanic? Trinkets. Oh yeah, and also the Battlegrounds Ladder will reset, if you forgot about that. Battlegrounds Ladder also resetting. Trinkets are a special passive power-up that you buy with gold. They might as well just delete that entire sentence and say, a quest reward, because that's pretty much what they are. Instead of doing quests to give yourself a quest reward, you just buy the quest reward immediately. But unlike quests, there's more than one per game. On turn 6 and turn 9, you get offered two different trinkets. The one on turn 6 is a lesser trinket. The, the one on turn 9 is a greater trinket. So we got like this, this dynamic of, as you probably guessed by the naming convention, a little quest reward or a little, big, a little power boost and direction giving type of mechanic on turn 6. And then again on turn 9, you get a bigger one that gives you that game-defining direction that you're trying to play toward to win the lobby. You might think back and be like, hmm, have we had anything like this in the past? Because that's, you know, that's what I do, right? It's like, how do we liken this to something that, that has existed before? And it sure feels like Sire Denathrius back in quest meta, or the Denathrius anomaly, right? Where you got a quest at the beginning of the game and another quest on Tavern four, or on turn four. You completed those over the course of the mid-game. You got one of them completed, the second one completed. You try to synergize between the two of them along with the minions that you find to create crazy boards and do really nasty things. You probably remember. Those made some pretty ridiculous board states, and that's going to be every game in Trinkets meta. So you're going, oh, all right, well, somebody's going to do something nuts. That's going to be hard to, to, to deal with, right? Because sometimes people just get pilfered lamps and a bunch of gold, and they just pop off, right? Well, there's 56 lesser trinkets and 60 greater trinkets in the pool. That is a tremendous amount of spanning space for different combinations in the game. Also, a lot of the trinkets and the, the lesser and greater trinkets are tied to minion types. So they'll have like a synergy that exists with one type of minion and are offered in, with conditions that are basically met by, oh, we have a couple of minions on the board or they're, they're cheaper or more expensive. The tuning for these kind of trinket type of effects is going to be very, very, very interesting to dive into. We'll have a lot more information on that upcoming. This is basically just an announcement, amount announcement blog here. But how you tailor the early game, how you tailor the mid game, how you try to encourage finding synergistic effects with your first uh, lesser trinket with the greater trinket, having a better chance of being offered to you. Like that's the kind of stuff that we're going to min max real heavily in this meta and adds a lot of hidden mechanics to the game that honestly on the surface probably wouldn't appeal to most people where you're like, oh, I just play the game and I take whatever trinkets are in front of me. Really good, easy access to like the casual player, right? Good. Big thumbs up. But for the people that are min-maxing and going for the absolute craziest, highest MMR type play, there are a lot of things to master. Easy to pick up, hard to master. That's good game design. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see hard to pick up and easy to master type of stuff like anomalies. <laughs> At least, you know, my opinion. One person's opinion on this. Very, 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 very encouraged to see this kind of mechanic going through. So, a couple other things. We'll just, uh, we'll just try to dive into this as much as possible. I'll read this to you because the resolution of this image is not great. That is in the announcement blog here. There are a couple examples given of lesser trinkets here. This is a turn six, eight gold after all. Trinket shop, where you can pick up any of the four offered trinkets to you. So there's always going to be four of them offered on turn six and always four of them offered to you on turn nine. Each of them will be given a gold price where you're like, hmm, I can spend more money to get a better effect or less money to get a worse effect. I feel like the effect is the part that you're going to care more about. Whether it's two gold or three gold or five gold on, on, nine, on the eight gold turn isn't going to be a huge determining factor. Hmm, better reward? Click it, you know? Because some of these effects can be pretty nasty in terms of synergies, uh, synergies with your board. For example, Holy Mallet. Holy Mallet, start of combat, give your left and right most minion divine shield. Hmm, in combat, temporary. But there's certain boards that this is absolutely busted with, right? Think about, like, the current Nightbane... Poet board. This gives you the ability to snapshot permanent divine shield on every single one of your minions for three gold. 
Spent on Tavern 6. It's like having Amber Drake and not taking a spot on your board. Booty Bay Brew. Whenever this, whenever you spend gold, give a friendly pirate plus one plus two. All right, well, that, that seems way better. That seems way, way better. So every time I roll, I get a one-two buff. Every time I sell a minion, I get a one-two buff. Every time I use a coin, I get a one-two buff. Wait a second. This is like a ridiculous amount of stats over the course of the game. Good thing there aren't any premium pirates in the game like cleave effects or anything, right? Hmm. <laughs> this seems really, really, really strong. Yogtastic Pastry, spin the wheel of Yog. At the start of each turn, spin it again. So basically, you get the Yog effect every single turn, including this one. A lot of value there. Consume an entire board, get a random golden minion. Buff up the tavern, all those kind of effects. So, or, you know, copying unit stats on your board. They're all really, really, really good. Do them turn after turn after turn. There's a reason they nerfed uh, Yog Buddy in Buddy meta. Because people were just getting a bunch of Yog Buddies and getting insurmountable stats on their board. Shockingly, that effect is pretty strong. And last but not least, Colorful Compass. At the Get a random pirate at the start of each turn, get another one. So basically feed yourself tons and tons of pirates over the course of the middle of the game. A lot of economy, extra power on the board, allows you to level a little easier. But you ask yourself, like, what does this open up? What does this open up? Because this is just the start of the game. This is turn six. You got yourself a couple minions. You got yourself a, a lesser trinket to start with. How do I advance this, and what does that make as options for me going for the greater trinket turn, and what do I do with that to get it, you know, the actual winning board at the end of the game? We talk about like the decision tree a lot, how a lot of what, what I don't love about a lot of BGs as of late has been the convergence of late game boards onto the same place. You start off here, you can make a lot of decisions, but they all just kind of converge back to the same game state. Like, oh, it's Ghoul of Cabra stuff, or it's APM stuff, right? And they all end up in the same spot. If the quests, or I should say the trinkets, are giving you a lot of spanning decisions and you end up in all kinds of different crazy places at high power level at the end of the game, that would be a really, really interesting meta to see. Optimistic, maybe, but we shall see. This is just the first announcement blog. A couple other ones here. Booty Bay Brew. This is a greater trinket. These don't say, oh, they say lesser on them. I didn't even see that. On the bottom, it shows lesser. Just kind of assume because it was eight gold, six gold turn, right? Greater trinket types can be powered up versions of lesser trinkets, or they can be specific for just greater or f just for lesser. So you're going to see some trinkets that are repeats that are like, maybe the lesser version is plus one, two, or like this guy right here, Booty Bay Brew. And the greater version is plus two, four. So whenever you spend gold, get a, give a friendly pirate plus two, four. Or Colorful Compass, get two copies of a minion of a type, whatever it might be. Also, there's going to be some, like I was saying before, that are crazy things. Think like... Uh, like Pilfered Lamps and Quest Reward meta. Those like, hoo hoo, that's going to be nutty to play. Those kind of effects can exist on, as like greater trinkets or whatever. I'm not saying that one specifically will, but like think about the bigger type effects. We're going to get a lot more information the next couple days being these kind of effects. Anyway, on top of that, we get a new hero. There's going to be, like I said, there's a lot more coming. Mirror and the Manager. He's basically this season's equivalent of like Sire Denathrius or Ticketus or uh, whatever they are for all of the other different effects. ETC, where they, they keep that, that seasonal mechanic as their, their hero power and this guy will, will stay in the game past the point of the end of the season when, when trinkets go away. On turn five, choose a lesser trinket to buy. Basically, you're just getting a trinket on turn five instead of turn six, which is kind of interesting. And you get to play the game with that that little like mini quest reward as your hero power. Kind of nice that it can stack once again in this meta. So you're going to have two lesser trinkets and a greater trinket, which is going to make some really nutty combinations. Who knows what those look like? I can see this hero just going infinite so easy because you just get two options that are just feeding you like free cards. Use that with like the combination of a, a greater a greater trinket or something that might be able to generate gold or, or be able to give stats when you play minions or whatever. You can just see the synergies starting to evolve in front of you. Anyway, like I said, there's lots of stuff coming. I'm zoomed in a little hard on this part. Season 8 begins. 38 minions are going to be removed from the minion pool. You know, refresh with the season. 18 favorites are coming back. Nomi? Leapers? Ford? I'm not saying that's what it's going to be, but like, you know, there's some crowd favorites out there. Crowd favorite? <laughs> oh, baby. Who knows what's going to come back? Plus 27 new minions and two new tavern spells. 
we're going to have that announcement of an announcement right here in the beginning of the season or the beginning of the reveal season, season I should say. But those minions are coming 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th every day, basically, for the next week. We're going to get another batch to talk about. Definitely going to be talking about all these guys on stream. Definitely going to do an, an encompassing patch review at the end. Or maybe we won't, because like we're going to be exhausted from talking about this for seven days straight. Hmm, who knows? And then, of course, day before the patch releases, we got ourselves a playtest. And then finally, on the 20th, it goes live on all servers, and we got a new season in front of us. Ladder resets, of course. New, uh, new Battlegrounds track, all that kind of stuff. Oh boy, all the information. If you want to see the, the actual blog here, I've got it linked in the description below. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to be to be seen here. Anyway, without any further ado, without any rambling on anymore, that's what's coming. I'm excited. I'm very, I couldn't even stop myself from talking for 11 minutes on basically a couple pages of text here because we got all kind of stuff on the horizon and a lot of hope. A lot of copium, maybe a lot of hopium. It's going to be fun, guys. Anyway, see you guys uh, tomorrow for, what was it? Neutrals? All right. Well, I'm going to start releasing some videos on, on different minions types, and we'll definitely be talking about it live on stream if you catch it there. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.